welcome back to my channel i am on uwe campus right now i'm going to get vaccinated wait a minute how wait first of all you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said <laughs> anyways yeah doing that right now i don't know how good the lighting is because the screen dark honestly i don't know where i'm going but one of my friends is there right now okay i see the audio okay 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 i think i see them i know where they are at least so yeah i'm going i think i'm going to have to wait like an hour before i get through because it's lunch time and i'm late but yeah i'm going to try and take you guys through the process and everything so yeah this little intro won't be long so I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so everything happened so quick. I did not get to record like everything, but when I get home, I'm going to tell you guys what the process was like and everything. So you guys can have a bit of understanding as to what the process is like. So heading, I probably go home and go to the shop to get the pills don't think I want to go to the pharmacy uh, there should be a pharmacy on campus but I don't know where so yeah bye guys okay guys so I am home now and as promised I'm going to walk you guys through the process because I wasn't able to record everything so basically when you go there um, you'd have to qualify under whatever um, criteria they have but us as dental students are considered healthcare workers so we get the opportunity to go in and get vaccinated so basically when you go there the first thing that they're going to do is give you like a demographic form where you would fill out like where you're from stuff like that and then they'd ask you some medical related questions in terms of like allergic reactions that you may have or may have had in the past and stuff like that so that's just the basic information um, after you fill out the form you're going to take it on the inside they'll direct you where to go depending on where you get vaccinated I did mine at UWE so um, they send you inside a building and direct you where you should go um, when you go there they'll do they start signing up this this form this is your certificate of COVID-19 vaccination um, forms so they just have like a basic information your name your gender your address your date of birth your TRN number nationality your phone number and your emergency contact on the inside it has the date that you are given the first dose and the time the manufacturer of the vaccine as well as the batch number for the vaccine it also has the expiration date of the vaccine and the place that you got vaccinated so when i'm going back for my second dose because it's the astrogenica i'm supposed to take this for them to fill out this form this section of the of the paper but after this section um you are sent to the doctor where he would give you the vaccine he'd give you a little pep talk why this look blurry let's just see how it is. all right so he'd give you like a pep talk on what to expect like symptoms that you may have in the event that you have them and uh, stuff like that i have a little part of that what that i can include after this so yeah you're gonna see that now <laughs> the body beans. we take regular panadols to every six hours mm -hmm. so what we tell people for that not to happen we take it regardless okay all right you're right handed or left handed right we're so left hand this left sleeve
Okay, you can take the other hand. The other hand. Oh, unless you can. Um, okay. So yes, guys. So after you get the vaccine, um, he's going to send you into like an observation room, and they observe you for fifteen minutes, and then you're free to go afterwards. So, um. You just need to get some Panadol as the doctor instructed just to prevent you from having the symptoms. Um, so even if you don't have the symptoms because some persons may not have the symptoms, it is still recommended that you take the Panadol every six hour. In, in Whether or not you have the symptoms, you should take it. So I got three packs. Hopefully that should be enough. If I need more, then I'll get more. But yeah, so that's it. Right now, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling very much normal. <laughs> Just, I got it in my left arm because I'm right-handed. Um, I'm not supposed to itch the area. It's not itching me, thank God, because that's something that's so hard to resist. Like, say, I'm so happy that it's not itching me, but I can tell you that my hand is heavy. <laughs> I think it's swollen, but not that much. All right, just see the hole right there, right here, so that's where I got the shot. Um, why the phone now looks so blurry? So yeah, um, that's where I got the shot in my left arm. I'm going to give you guys any updates that I may have before I post this video. I'm going to watch it and give you guys updates. I'm going to take, well, I'll probably eat something and then take the pills. But yeah, I'm just going to take them. But basically that's it. My arm just feeling heavy right now. Usually though when I get vaccinated, my the area would turn like black and blue after a, probably like a day or so. And uh, it would swell. So if I get that reaction then I would know that it's somewhat normal because that's what usually happens. So I'm expecting that to happen but if it doesn't happen thank God. It's not something that I want to happen, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, my hand just feel heavy right now. So guys, it's been about two hours. Exactly two hours. And my arm is swollen. Not much. But yeah, it's swollen. It's not like swollen to the point where like you're like, oh my god. But yeah. Doing some arm exercises. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what my hand. But yeah, I'm doing some arm exercises. Hopefully that will help. So yeah, guys, just a little update. <laughs> hey guys, so it's bedtime. It's like after nine now in the night. So I just wanted to give you guys an update as to how I feel. So right now. The fatigue is coming on that's for sure um i feel like i'm going to have a little fever yeah like my temperature is elevated but not by too much like all over my body um which is pretty normal so i'm just gonna see how i feel in the morning hopefully the fatigue won't be too bad and i can do what i have to do Kingston is very hot guys and right now I'm cold. I have to be sleeping with my fan remote so that whenever I cannot tolerate it anymore, I can just turn it off. But yeah guys, there is pain at the site. I just took my second Panadol, second pack of Panadol. I'm supposed to take it every six hours but once I fall asleep, I'm not going to wake up to take the pill. The next six hours so i would wait until in the morning to take the other one so i've already taken two packs since i got the vaccine but here guys the pain at the side it's tender to touch but like if i raise my arm like i can feel it but yeah that's just that in the morning i'll give you guys some update on how i'm feeling and stuff so bye guys hey guys it's the next day and 
I just want to let you guys know that the symptoms are real. Like, if you get the symptoms, they're very real. Like, there's still pain at the site, extreme fatigue, muscle pain all over, headache, like, loss of appetite, dehydration, yet I am using the bathroom more often, which is crazy, um, because even though I feel dehydrated, I'm not drinking any water. I had some water last night, like probably about half of my water bottle, which is a 650 ml. And uh, I've been using the bathroom more often than before. So even though I feel dehydrated, I don't even want to drink much water. Because I'm just sick and tired of it. Um, definitely going to need more pills. I only bought three packs and I've already gone two and now I'm having more the headache come on now so definitely going to need the pills uh, the temperature is down right now you know like when Jamaicans say um, you sweat out your fever you sweat out your fever and you sleep I feel like I that one because I sleep under my blanket um but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that little update. I'm going to see how I feel throughout the day. Even though I don't have any appetite, I'm still going to try and eat something to take the pill. And then I can um, see how the rest of the day work out. But I need to feel better soon. Hey yeah, guys, bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is day two, night three, post vaccination, first dose. And I must say today has been a better day than yesterday. Yesterday was a very rough one. I feel pretty normal right now. Thanks be to God. Um, but yesterday, I didn't get much um, recordings in and that's because I slept for the entire day like I kid you not after waking up and having all the symptoms I listed previously um, I just forced myself to eat something so that I could take another pill and then after that guys I slept for the entire day I got up back about after 6 in the evening and at that point I was feeling a lot better and ever since I've been feeling better so that's very good I'm happy for that so hey guys that's just my journey that was just my experience hopefully this is it because I don't want to think that anything else should happen so yeah I think this is going to be it um whenever i get the second dose i'll take you guys along that journey but at the end of the day it's your choice if it's open to you and you're willing to take it then i'd say go for it just prepare for the symptoms and if you are not like if you don't feel the need to take it then i'm not going to tell you to take it to be honest <laughs> Because at first I was like, uh-uh, not going to take it. But then, just the thought of dealing with so many persons this semester and the semesters after this, um, I decided to just take it. Um, so yeah guys, that's it for my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video and leave a comment down below share with many of your friends all of your friends share my channel guys and yeah until my next upload that's it bye